AutoCAD has tables. Tables here can be generated very quickly. Now they create a spreadsheet like grids of lines, columns, rows, and text, very similar to a spreadsheet. Now tables have styles too, but first let's just take a quick look at them and let's start by using a blank template file. Any template file should be fine. Now to start or to create a table, you can go to two places. You can go to the home tab, to the annotation panel, and just click on the table button right here. Or you can go to the annotate tab in the ribbon and go to the tables panel. Or you can just type in the word table. Now this window here comes up when you first start your table command. This is where you define the attributes of your table. Now you need to define the number of rows and columns, their height and their width. And let's just say I'm going to type in four. Now it doesn't give you an accurate preview of what your table is going to look like when you define it here. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Now you can start from a blank table or you can start from a data link from a spreadsheet. You can link in your data from an Excel spreadsheet and put it directly into AutoCAD and have them linked together. When you edit one, the other is also updated. And that's really cool and very advanced, and extremely useful. But right now I just wanna show you how to start a table and how to create it. You pick your table style, just like you would with a dimension, multi-liter or text. You can click here to launch a table style dialog. This is one way to create a brand new style. Now a style will have things defined in it like headers and the text that goes in them. So once we've defined a few things like rows and columns, click OK and then insert. And then you just start typing it in. And it works just like it would in a spreadsheet. So if you're familiar with working with a spreadsheet, you'll find tables very similar and very easy and simple to use. Now they're nowhere near as powerful as a regular spreadsheet program is, of course not, but gives you something that automatically grids your work and it gives you different options similar to working in a spreadsheet. So for example, if I have numbers in here, number one, I press enter, it goes down to the next one, two, let's say 55, and then 17. When you're done editing the cells, just click anywhere else inside your drawing area. Now to select your table, you just pick any part of it and you can have access to that there. So if I want to change this to, let's say 34, I just start typing it in. Now I can select the cell and if I double click in it, it gets me into like a text editor similar to the multi-line text where I can work with this text. I can match properties, bold, underline, justification, etc. If I select this cell right here, I can go to data format and I can change some of the format, text, date, currency, etc. Now I can also go to formula, so I can click on sum. And then I just pick with a selection window, the cells that I want to sum looks just like a spreadsheet, press enter, and there I have a sum. Now it puts a little gray box behind it, that just tells you it's a special field. That gray box won't print. That just lets you know that this is an automated feature and if I change one of these values now from one, make it very obvious to 200, that's gonna automatically update. So that's a really great feature to have right inside your AutoCAD file. You can manipulate your table with grips. So you can see here you have a left, right, and some other tops and bottoms. Now the left and rights kind of act like stretches and so does the up and down. If you click on the top of a column, you can stretch those different column widths. If I select this top box here, I pick everything and then I can change the overall width or height. If I click here, it will automatically fill the cell and that can get you into trouble sometimes, but a quick undo will set things back. So you can do things like that. If I pick a cell and I right click, I get a lot of my different options right here. I can change my cell style. I can change it to a data, a header, or a title. I can even save it as a new style if I'd like. I can set a background fill. And I can also do these things by selecting multiple cells at a time. Just hold on your shift key and click where you want. Right click, I can change the borders. I can put in a double line, go all the way around. I can do that. You can right click again 
can change the background fill to something else. As you can see, that's very hard to see. Can change it to black. You can also change my alignments. So there are a lot of different things that you can do with a table. If you need to add or delete rows, just select a row, right click, say delete row, or insert row below or above, and it adds it right to it, or it will take one away. Same way with columns. You can insert a column to the right or to the left, and so on. Now, if I pick two cells, I can merge them together. I can merge them all by row, whatever it is I want to do. So as you can see here, there's a lot of functionality in a table that works extremely similarly to a spreadsheet. So if you're familiar with working with spreadsheets, working with tables won't be a problem for you.